Hi everyone, it's Rhonda from Flowers and More by Rhonda. I'm here today with a tutorial on um, how to do a uh, fun little parasol for Gone Artsy. <clears throat> now, I'm redoing this video. I keep, I'm still learning my video maker, so I keep saving it in the wrong spot and then I sound like a chipmunk. So, I'm redoing it as it has been completely done. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the products that I've used here. First of all, this was uh, in some yard sale stuff. I have it's a curtain rod, but I don't, I didn't quite understand it because of the packaging it was in. So I thought I'm going to hold on to those. I may need them someday. So luckily, I have another one. And then here's the extra pieces which I can hold on to for something else for later. And to give you an idea of the length, it's about close to 12 inches. So it made a nice little fun size uh, piece here. Uh, so what I've done is uh, this was some scrap material. And I just cut myself off a nice big circle. Because uh, I knew I wanted it to come just a little more than halfway down the, uh, we'll call it the arm. Uh, and then what I did was I went around the edges and I hot glued on this beautiful trim, beaded trim here from Gone Artsy. And as I glued, I sort of puckered it a little. Uh, to sort of give it a little bit of a pleat and uh, after I did that I found my center point and I hot glued this in with just a little bit of glue at, at the end down here just to hold it in place and then once I gathered up my material and I had it you know nice and foofy like I wanted it uh, next I used the uh, new seam binding from the shop in sort of a hot pink and a silver um, and just tied it off and next uh, as I held it in place I kind of glued it down in here so that way it would gather up around the uh, arm of the, the parasol and next I added on this piece of bling here it was sort of a bowl shaped so it fit perfectly on the end to decorate that end piece up very pretty piece of uh, pearl bling set in a um, a gold tone setting and next I took this garland uh, from the shop it is a beaded garland and it has uh, acrylic leaves on it which I'm having a ball using these leaves on product pro projects so I just snipped the leaves off and the uh, extra pieces here I incorporated in down here I think you all can see that. And I added in some mulberry flowers. And of course the, the scrap pieces that I, where I cut the leaves off. You can see the leaves right here. Got one here and one right there. And then I used a piece of this chiffon uh, trim and I've uh, took and burned the edges just using a uh, lighter to give it those um, fun little flowers that um, crafters are doing now and um, then I just folded it over and attached it with hot glue and that was it fun little easy uh, wedding piece and this uh, material has florals all over it so our theme this month is spring and I thought that would be perfect to use and this give me a fun little centerpiece for um, at a wedding uh, maybe on the cake table or the bridal party table uh, or even great for a bridal shower so but I really like this and of course you can make smaller ones to use as little party favors and I didn't do anything to the handle because I really like it just like that. I thought about maybe adding a tassel onto it later. Uh, but I'm, I'm really liking it like this. And here's this side. And it's I'm just really happy with it. And there you go. That is my project for today. Again, our theme is spring. So stay tuned and uh, 
keep watch for more projects by the awesome DTs at Gone Artsy. And until next time, bye-bye.